Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 from Fishers of Men Campground, or Ranch, rather, Fishers of Men Ranch, near Marble Falls, Texas, about six miles west of Marble Falls, excuse me, east of Marble Falls, Texas. I'll get it here. But, you know, what do you need for, to enjoy camping? What are, what are the ingredients? Well, let me give you three of them. A good attitude, a good campsite, and good weather. And by God, we got it all here today. I'm telling you, man. You know, there, there's a full hookup site down there. Well, full, it's got water and electric. And then this is mine right here. I have a Class C motorhome. And uh, this is my site right here. And uh, there's one other person in the whole campground right there. And then around me, as you can see, is the ranch. And, and the one thing good about Fishers of Men Ranch campground is there aren't a lot of hookup sites. There's, there's like five, one, two, three. Yeah, they've got... There's one there where that RV is, and there's one right between me and that RV right there. That's two. This is the third site, and then there's another one over here with water and electric, site number four, and they just completed uh, this one over here, adding water and electric over here, so that's five. They got five, maybe six. There might be another one up there in that brush. But anyway, so, so they've got six, so it's a, a small campground, you know what I mean? And, you know, you can stay here by the month, uh, you can stay here by the day, you can stay here by the week. And uh, yeah, just uh, look, do a Google search for Fishers of Men Ranch, Marble Falls, Texas. That, that'll that get you here. But yeah, man, and, and, and like I said, you know, beautiful day. Weather. The temperature right now is probably, I don't know, 50-ish. It'll be 71 today. This is like February the, oh, oh, excuse me, January the 30th. Yeah, 30th. January 30th, 2022. And um, so... No matter where you go, and I've done this, been camping for 25 years, full-time RVing, living in an RV, you know, still living in this Class C. Now, I have a home base uh, at Fort Clark Springs, Texas, that I go to for a few months uh, now. And uh, But whenever you're traveling in an RV, the, the, the hardest thing to find, the two things you're really looking for that you don't have control over, one is a very good private nice campsite you know what i mean that's one of the things everybody's looking for the other thing you always like to have good weather okay you know you don't want it, the wind blowing 35 miles an hour uh, you don't want rain you don't want sleet you don't want hail you know what i mean the basic stuff and but once you get all that in together every now and then it's kind of like winning the lottery i think it happens it happens more often than not because you can watch the weather as you're traveling around and uh you know you can that, that you, you've got semi control over the weather uh you, 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 as far as what the campsite's going to be when you get there uh you i guess you could say you have semi control over that because you can do google earth and stuff and take a look at it but uh as far as your attitude you got total control over that so you know come in with a smile on your face and leave with a smile on your face is not a bad way to go uh they have fire rings here for all the campsites so yeah there's one here right there for this campsite and then my fire ring i think the one that goes with my side is right over there and they also put wood around and stuff if you want to use it and uh, they put up a, a, a water hose at each campsite for you to use to extinguish your fire when you whenever you're through with your campfire uh, to fully extinguish it they provide a water hose at each campsite which i think is smart and uh, they've got signs around you know the smoky bear signs you know about because uh, this uh, this is cedar or it's a, it's kin to juniper but it's Texas cedar Texas hill country cedar and and when it's dry oh man it, it'll go up like gasoline but anyway there's old Smokey right there he says always hold matches till cold be sure to drown all fires crush all smokes dead out follow Smokey's ABCs ABC hold the matches drown the fire and crush the smokes abc but anyway it's such a beautiful day here you know and, and the trees around you know these are these right here just happen to be these are live oaks here which make a nice shade uh, in this mod of trees here and uh, so but they also have in addition to these rv sites and the reason i'm doing a plug for them uh, fishers of men ranch is because they're good people you know what i mean and they've been good to me i mean i'm having cataract surgery and they're going to see that I get there for my surgery and back without having to drive which thank you very much because that that's a chore for me since I live by myself 
and there's nobody close enough for me to call on. But having said that, they also have, as I may have mentioned in the beginning, they have places where you can dry camp in your RV. They also have places where you can tent camp. And there is a lake here, and when it rains, that, that lake will fill up, and it's really a big lake, and it's really pretty nice. But at the, at the ranch house, uh, their home, actually, they have a whole section cordoned off with bunk beds and stuff for, you know, like a bed and breakfast. But I don't know. I don't think they cook the breakfast. They might every now and then. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's really neat. It's, it's a ranch house experience. You know, they've got some wild hogs that they trapped. And they have a pen full of those and the little piglets or whatever you want to call them. And, yeah, so there's some stuff for the kids to kind of enjoy. And, uh, but yeah, at the camp house, yeah, it's kind of like a bed and breakfast. But yeah, I think they can sleep like 10 or 15, maybe 20 people there. I don't know. It's a lot. Got a lot of bunk beds and stuff. So, you know, if you have a large group of kids, you know, like maybe Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts or whatever, they could probably handle a, a troop or whatever. But anyway, we'll go up here and we'll look at this site. See, they've already got the fire ring. And they do this themselves. No, they, they, just, they do this themselves. They're both in there. I don't know if she's in her 70s. I, he, I know he's about my age. I'm 76. And, you know, you get out here with a shovel. And, you know, of course, they had a, 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 a like a backhoe kind of a di trenching machine dig the, some of the trenches. But then, you know, they have to, you know, pour the concrete around because they put concrete around this post right here. And, you know, they, got, they, they handle that. And then they do the PVC and the electrical stuff and then fill it in. Okay. And then, of course, they set up the fire ring right there already ready to go and yeah this is nice so then there's a water well yeah it's all the water and the water the water's okay you know it's a uh, you know it's up here in the texas hill country so it's going to have a lot of lime in it limestone and uh but yeah and all the sites are 50 amps so if you have a 30 amp unit be sure and bring you a 50 to 30 amp adapter that's another thing and as far as the prices and all that stuff you'll have to You'd have to call them. I don't think they have a website. They may have something on Facebook. But again, it's called Fishers of Men Ranch. And it's near Marble Falls, Texas. So if you just do a search for Fishers of Men Ranch, Marble Falls, Texas, it'll pop up. And you'll find the phone number and you can call them. And uh, the owners, it's Kaz, K-A-Z, Kaz and Bill are the owners. Really nice. And it's very private, man. See, that's what I like. So, you know, like there's two, I'm, I, I paid for a month. I've been here for two weeks. And I'm there, and then there's another guy over there. He's paying by the month. He's been here like three months. And, uh, man, you can't, compared to a normal RV park, are you kidding me? Look at this view. That's right across the Texas Hill Country, man. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, we'll cruise around. I'm going to walk around in a minute and show it to you. Why? Because I ain't got nothing to do. It's a beautiful day, and I want to get outside and move around. I've done my walk this morning for about an hour, and I feel pretty good. Thank goodness. And over here, there's a site here because I see a fire ring, but I'm not sure if they have water and electric on this site. I see the electric right here, but I don't see water. Maybe it's there. I don't know. But anyway, let's walk up here on this hill, and I'll show you something really neat. Because, you, you know, this all this area that I'm walking around, this is an area that you can walk around on and exercise. They don't allow pets. Do not allow pets. No pets, Okay. And uh, that's their choice. It's their business. So, yeah, they're going to put another site back over in there for RVs. But then you get up in here, up in this area up here, it's uh, for tent sites and dry camp. And you, you could pull your RV in here and dry camp. Or if you've got a van or a, uh, whatever, you know, uh, that you wanted to, you know, you, yourself contain, so to speak. They got spots for you to camp, I guarantee you. And they're really nice and private, man. And again, they, you, know, you can have your little campfire and enjoy the stars at night. There's no street lights, none, 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 none. You know, some RV, uh, RV parks have those security lights around. You ain't got none here, baby. When that sun goes down, it's dark. And that's the way I like it. I mean, and I just stumbled into this. I'd, I've never been here before, but I've been here for two weeks now. And uh, anyway, we'll go up here on this hill. And these are places, again, that you can walk, you know, and enjoy with your kids or you and your husband or, like me, I'm just a lone wolf. 
But I have to tell you this, if I had to stay in an RV park by the month, I'd be here. You know, they have a, a dump station. So, you know, if you, you know, you, you can get you one of those pull things and pull it to the dump station. Or you could drive your RV over there. What, what depends on what you got. But you, if you, but I, would I work around it? Sure, hell yeah. Why? Look, God, how does this compare with any RV park you've ever been in? My God. You know, this is a kind of a pullout over here, and there's one here for dry camping and stuff. And it just happens to be beautiful weather today, and that's why I'm doing this video, because I want to help them any way I can. Let me get up here, I'll end the video. Yeah, you got these roads to walk on. This thing goes around, back around over here, winds around. It's about a mile loop uh, up to make it if you were walking. I walk two loops in the morning or more, whatever I feel like. But yeah, here's the, uh, this is a beautiful view right here, man. Right out over the Texas Hill Country. And they got a swing over here. I've, come, I've done some of this before. And uh, is it redundant? No. I could do it 10 times. Why? Because this is what people look for, man. I mean, I know what I look for, and i am just been doing it a long time. I mean, this is one of the things you enjoy is coming out, finding a place like this where you've got a little privacy, where you can be a human. And This is a lake, and when it rains, it'll fill up. And, uh, yeah, right now we haven't had any much rain up here. But look at this view, man. And they've got a chair on this down here. I'll walk down there. Hell, I ain't got nothing to do. And, uh, but you can see... It's beautiful. Oh, and as far as a cell phone signal, uh, you got it made. It's well, if if you've got Verizon. Now, I'm not sure about AT&T, T-Mobile, and that. But if you have Verizon or Visible, which is owned by Verizon, then you got a maxed out signal here. You're good. You're good. Because I'm I'm with Visible Wireless, which is owned by Verizon, and my signal is muy bueno. That means very good. Yeah, but you can just walk around. There's trails out in this cedar and stuff, so. And you, this is a camping spot here. Uh, there's a couple more over there. And uh, if this looks like another video I did, so be it. So be it. But just remember, guys. See, and that's, you know, these are just good people. You know, they're just uh, enjoyable to talk to and... Uh, yeah, it's uh, and, and it's nice. Gives you a good feeling. Now here's your deal. Now and the ones that don't have water, like there's no water up to this site, they put these gallon jugs there with water so you can douse your fire. Pretty smart, huh? But anyway, guys, from the Texas Hill Country, Fishers of Men Ranch, near Marble Falls, Texas. This is Rusty seven eight six zero nine. Yeah. Attitude, you got to have a good attitude, good campground, and good weather. Boy, today we got it all three. Adios, amigos. Thumbs up, carpe diem. Adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you choose to. Drink plenty of water, stretch walk, and really try to keep your health. Very important. Anyway, stand guard at the door of your mind. Adios, guys. Bye bye. Boom.